Hello, I am Trusha Mukherjee, a student of Shwendrath Law College and currently interning with Lexis & Company. Today I am going to speak about One Nation, One Election. Whether this rule will actually be very fruitful for the country. Because our Prime Minister Narendra Modi has actually made a proposal that the entire country should have one electoral roll. That is, there should be only one electoral roll and one voters list for the entire country. And not different because it takes a lot of time. And these quality time can actually be used for the betterment of the country. Many development projects comes to a standstill because the lot of labor is involved in making all these different electoral rules and making separate elections. For this purpose, we have to understand that during 1950 and 51, when the first elections were taking place, the first Lok Sabha elections, they were primarily two parties. The Congress party or the Indian National Congress that was headed by Jawaharlal Nehru and the party of the A.K. Gopal, the Communist Party. Now, out of the 360 million people that were there at that time, only 170 million people were eligible for voting. At this time, out of the seats, 490 for nine, 89 seats that were available at that time, 364 seats were won and Jawaharlal Nehru became our Prime Minister, first Prime Minister. This was the story of the first elections in India. Now, at present, there are three levels of elections in India. One is the Panchayat of the Municipal Elections, that is the grassroots level. Then comes the state elections, that is the election for the Vidhan Sabha and then comes the election at the central level of the national elections. There we nominate or we actually elect our Prime Minister during the Lok Sabha elections. Now, the voters list are made in a separate manner. The Panchayat and the Municipalities elections list is made by the State Election Commission while the Lok Sabha and the Vidhan Sabha's electoral role is being made by the Election Commission of India. As we all know that the Election Commission was set up so that they can take care of the entire election proceedings that is being conducted in the country. Now, it is being told that what should be the changes brought so that there is one electoral rule. The first change that needs to be there is that the states should give permission to the state election commission to take or borrow the voters list from the center so that they can use it in the purpose of municipal or the panchayat elections also. Now there are certain places where this rule cannot be applied, like Assam, Kerala, all these things. Earlier also, in 1999 and 2004, it was proposed, but somehow it did not happen. Now, it was again proposed by Narendra Modi. Now, what are the changes that has to be brought in the constitution for this? The main changes that has to be brought is under Article 243K and 243ZA of the Constitution. Secondly, these parts says that the local body elections will be conducted by the State Election Commission and also the states have to change their laws and allow the other state election commissions to borrow the list so that they actually coordinate with each other during any election. But at the present time, it is not required. The state election commission works in its own way, while the national election commission or the election commission of India works in a completely own pattern, its own pattern. They are not being correlated to each other at any point of time. And this 
is actually making things very very difficult as narendra modi has also stated regarding the delay in the sardar sarovar dam that has been committed due to all these things so if the entire country comes under one umbrella and there is only one voters list that will be prepared for both the elections then a lot of quality time will be saved and these can be used for the betterment and all development programs of the country now i would like to tell that what do you think in a country like india will this plan actually work should actually this come as a law in india please let me know what do you feel that's all for today bye bye and thank you